husband and I used to live in San Francisco. I was a filmmaker and he was working in the Silicon Valley. And uh, working in um, film it was very stressful for me. Years of stress and the respite that, uh, for me was doing yoga, doing meditation. Being a filmmaker, I tried to come to Greece. I was working at the film festival in Thessaloniki some years, and then I tried to work in production in Greece, and I did not find it easy or fulfilling. So as the years passed, my circle of being in um, California was coming to an end, and I knew I wanted to come back home. I knew I wanted to do something nice for the people that I loved, and wanted to be close to my family, my parents. The dream was to come to Greece and open a retreat center. That's my side of the story. When I met Vivi, she had the intention of moving to Greece, wanting to come to Greece and create a retreat center, something that was her passion uh, from years of being at Tassajara and uh, studying Zen meditation and practicing yoga. So um, when we met, she was ready to move to Greece and I was looking for a change as well. Not only was I in love with her, but I also wanted to um, try something new. Um, so uh, knowing that, we basically came to Greece one year and uh, we looked around uh, trying to figure out what it is, how we're going to plan uh, doing what we want to do and creating our vision. And the goal was eventually, as people start to learn about yoga in Greece, that we want to create the yoga, the uh, retreat center somewhere in nature. When we came to Mani, we just fell in love with it. We just fell in love with the architecture. We fell in love with um, the place not being overdeveloped, that we can really see ourselves here. So when we came, Iraj um, and I, it was right before Christmas, we were walking around Kardamili, that beautiful village that is even mentioned by Homer, Kardamili. And uh, we were walking and it felt so nice that Irad said, Honey, we found our place. And we knew that this is where we wanted to be ourselves. And we knew that people would love being here because the peninsula it has everything. It has um, the sea, it has the mountain and the Taigidus range is like a beautiful mythical range of mountains. Most of the place survives from uh, cultivating olives, so the olive groves are everywhere. And some animal husbandry, goats, sheep, it was just, it wasn't very touristy, it wasn't very discovered. And so when we came, we said, okay, this is where we'd like to be. Keep coming back to this uh, place year after year, uh, we finally find the space that really um, we felt good being at. So we were in a way lucky to find this area where it's not over the road, we're protected in the back and the sea view, it's just incredible. And this, where we're sitting, used to be a house belonging to the people who were taking care of the olive groves. Uh, so we had a really good connection with the land and uh, we decided to go at it. And we started building and what we use is basically using the rocks that are here to build our stone home. So we created uh, about four, we built about four buildings and keep developing to build more, more uh, rooms so that people can come. The more the merrier. So right now we have about, uh, we can accommodate about 22 people, 23 people. We have about eight rooms, a yoga deck, and a meditation room where we're sitting and uh, we just keep continuing to build. It was the intention of the land to have us here. You know, the land was kind of like inviting us to be here. We did not regret it at all. We love what we are doing and we never doubted that this is it.
We Raj and I and our architect, who is uh, Vasilis Dimitropoulos, he is my yoga body as well. He's a beautiful human being, beautiful architect. And um, wherever we were stuck, he would be here to help us to move things through. So we finished in 2017 and we had our first retreats here. We wanted to build a place with enough quietude, with enough silence, with um, close contact with nature. And um, we found this place, it was here, that we feel nature is a very loving entity. And uh, the dream, it keeps growing. After the first buildings, we uh, followed up with the yoga deck, beautiful yoga deck with wonderful wood, great panoramic views of the sea and the horizon. We feel very, very lucky to have that to practice. We are then dedicated vegetarians and our cuisine is this beautiful, delicious, with fresh vegetables from the area, with um, just really wonderful fruit and olive oil that we make and people love the taste of our olive oil and we love the process. To add to that as well is that we get a lot of support. Believe it or not, when we came here, we were trying to figure out how do we build uh, our dream. And uh, little did we know behind us in that village full of craftsmen and craftswomen uh, who came here and supported us to build to create what we wanted to create. And so we feel very um, lucky to have that. So our choice of um, the process and the materials that we're working with, it was easy, it was an easy choice because all the stone that you see here, it came for the excavations that we had to do anyway in order to have a foundation for the buildings here. And as you see, one is a rocky place, so we had plenty of um, um, rock. And then the people that we were working with, they're stone masons from the area. The roofs are beautiful by a family of brothers, just five minutes from here. We took care of our roof and on and on like that. Um, people came and helped and um, the materials that we used, stone, wood, of course, you have to use cement, but as natural materials as possible. Floors, bathrooms made of this material which is sand. We try to have like organic sheets and towels. Our uh, mattresses are of course coconut. I'm so proud of these guys making Greece famous everywhere. So the vision keeps expanding. And the vision is more like for one to allow this place to grow organically so more and more people can come and enjoy. So I think there is definitely a movement for people to be more conscious about what they're doing to the planet. I think years of abusing and using resources, uh, it's come to a point where people realize that resources are limited that we do have to be kind to the planet, that we do have to be kind to other beings. And uh, definitely the age of technology also allows people to communicate that with each other. It's a lot easier now to communicate and bring people together for a purpose that, that benefits everybody. We'd love to invite you to come and be a part of it, so we're here for you. Thank you for watching and being with us. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to share it with your friends and give it a thumbs up. You can also leave your thoughts in the comment section below and especially hit subscribe and click the notification bell to be updated. If you want your project to be featured on our channel, send an email to modernaestheticliving at gmail.com.